Okay, this is a sub irrigated pot on a manifold. Soup, soup, soup. And manifold hooks up to the last tank in line. There's a float valve on it, which just sets the level of all the other of all the pots. You can see the level's sitting a bit low and uh, the outlet is um, not full up, which means some of these pots are probably not getting fed. And if we look at the colour, you can see the top of the surface of the soil. There's tomatoes and capskin and passion fruit vine in the back. Yeah, there you go. There's lettuce in there. You see? Okay, you got dry, moist, dry, moist, dry, moist, moist. Okay, so you can see which of the pots where the, um, the manifold input is probably just a little bit too high. So they're not getting water. Probably still enough water to keep the plant going. But it's time to uh, have a look at the level on the float valve. Yeah, first little capsicum popping up there. Nice. And another one. Cool. Now, I love my passion fruit. Now this experiment, it's actually, let's continue a bit more. So this float tank, the float valve fed off of that pipe, which comes out of this sucker, which is my uh, compost tea brewer. It's got an airline coming in the top, the air pump's in another building. Um, and in here I've got a well, sack of uh, worm poo and a tea bag. I also chuck in some worm wee, a bit of molasses, a bit of EM. I try not to put tap water, but mostly rain water or if it hasn't rained. Well, this thing sits on the, uh, on the drip line. So it fills up with rainwater when it does rain and I can feed that in. But I also just fill it up with uh, tap water and then leave it to sit, sit for a day or two to let the chlorine sort of uh, dissipate out of it a little so I don't kill the bacteria that I'm trying to uh, propagate. Anyway, that's the system. I probably should have built it in a more sunny location, but you have to work with what you got. Next door to that is the wicking bed that we made earlier. <laughs> the puck pung over here in the corner is not happy. It seems to like the wet season a lot more. And I'm not bothering to water it much. Pumpkin's going off as usual. Banana. Didn't really mean to plant him seriously. I just thought he was cute so I stuck him in the ground and he grew. It's pretty easy to grow on a wicking bed. That's it. See you later.